Come on, Moody, come look at this salad bar. Come on. Come on around this way. We're gonna try to do something today that we hope goes as planned. And that is to move Moody, our big 1,200 plus pound baby steer, because <laughs> he's just two, into the flower farm area. And so he can eat that cover crop and fertilize the gardens at the same time. And I'll explain to you how we're gonna do that after we feed these boys. Scooby Dooby Moo. What's up, bud? What's up, Moo? Hey, Moo, you wanna try to move over next door over there? Hmm? Yeah. I think y'all may like it. I think y'all may like it. <clears throat> I know Moody will. We got rye grass. We got your favorite radishes. We got clover. We got vetch. All kind of goodies over there next door, Moody. And I would love for you to take care of that for me. I really, really would. That would be so awesome. Y'all, come on. Y'all, not y'all. Moo. We just want Moo to come on. What side you want it on? One on this side? All right. There you go. Come on, Crazy Joe. Crazy Joe and a sidekick top. That's right. I see Mama's already fed you this morning. Alarm system wants something though. Yeah. Let's get those guys cut off. Yeah. Oh, no go. It goes down when you rub his back. I'm thinking about planting that mulberry tree over Woo! here. We're right in here. Yeah, it's not like they're going to eat it. So, right. I mean, the and, leaves and it's already right. leaves are already tall right. on it. So. All right, baby, we got to go to the next one. Okay. I know he yeah, he know. He speaks English. Yeah. You get in this morning? It's getting warm enough to get yeah, in. I can tell you this. Come on, sit down. This morning we have a talk. Talk about moving Moody. Talk about moving Moody. What do you think? Nugget, is it going to go smooth? Uh oh. Goodness. All the way down this morning? Goodness. I want to cut a path around where we're going to put the fence in. Okay. Good idea. So that way it won't hinder with the charging. Right. It won't ground out. Right. And I hadn't explained to everybody how we're going to do this either, but I'll, uh, Scott. Scott's going to explain it. Scott will explain it. I guess we'll get into that here in a minute. Was your breakfast good this morning, Peachy? Hmm? How about yours there, Bootsy? Did y'all have a good breakfast? Hmm? I believe you got some babies in there, girl. Look how big you're getting. Yeah, look how big you're getting. I believe he might have some babies in there. Hmm? Hey, Jason. Yo. You know what I determined? What? Mildred loves animal crackers. Does she really? Yes. Mildred. <coughs> you know what I determined, Bootsy? Loki's got a loud mouth. Yeah. He's almost as loud as Scott. I could sit here and love on you all day and not get nothing done, but boy, the farm will be mad at me, girl. All right, let me go. Let me go feed the chickens. Yeah. Mildred. Oh my.
my gracious, it's Roomba. Huh? It's Roomba. Oh, it was a duck. It's Roomba now. Roomba's probably laying there so that duck will incubate him. Oh my gracious. Hello, my feather friends. <laughs> the cog flock. Q-tip. Girl, your hair's looking better today. It sure is. It sure is. What you think, Corny? Don't it look good? Hey, Miss Goat. Hey, Miss Goat. What's going on, Lydia? Bandit? Fancy? Look, there's Phyllis Diller this morning. There's Cotton right there, and there's Dolly back there. I don't have anything, girl. Squash? There's Tina Turner. Felix? Here comes Cheryl in the back, back there coming. Oh, Tommy. Woo! No, not this morning. There he goes. What's up, Emma Jean? Bobby? All right, let's get y'all. Let's get y'all fed here. Give y'all a little morning snack. Waiting on your morning snack this morning. Yep. Wait. Let's go. You better come on, Scott. Here comes Pumpkin. Little Pumpkin running wide open. Look at she got a little skip to her, like a Tennessee walking horse. Let me give Scott some. Don't be bashful, Scott. Come on. There you go. All my feather friends. Kind of reminds me of that Hank Williams Jr. song. All my feather friends are coming over tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I hear Timmy over there just a crowing. Let's go give Timmy a little scratch this morning. Everybody needs a little snack. Tell you what, I'm gonna give Timmy some grub worms here. Some grubs. There's Timmy. Timmy! I hear him clucking at me. Timmy! Hey, he is! What's up, Tim? Look, I got you something special, buddy. Y'all come on, look. Check this out. Y'all hear that? He's calling the, see him got it in his mouth. He's got a little piece in his mouth. See him calling the hens? He is telling those hens, he has found something special. And y'all come and get it. See him feeding it to her. See him feed it to her? That's what a good rooster does right there. Steely calling him. Y'all come and get it now, it's safe. Y'all come and get it. Y'all come see, he picks it up, he drops it, tries to show it to him. Ain't that amazing? That's what that little tut -tut 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 is. He is calling his hens. When he calls them, they come running. See them? Ain't that amazing? All right, Timmy. We gotta try to move Moon Man today. What do you think about that? Think that's gonna go well? I hope so too, buddy. Keep your toes crossed, okay? Golly, that water hose scared me, y'all. Thought it was a snake. <laughs> Whoo, my heart's pounding 90 miles an hour. Good gracious. Ooh, greenhouse, look at here. Just got so bright outside, I had to put her sunglasses on for her. But the green greenhouse is doing awesome. So much so that me and Mary Carl yesterday started our own first batch of seeds. We planted some cosmos, some sunflowers, and look here. Got us some tomato seeds going. 
So the first ever batch of seeds are in the new greenhouse. And I want to show you guys something else too. Do y'all remember a couple of videos ago, I showed you we had a Cosmos that was just about to bloom. Well, oh, I see some more. I see some more. Well, here it is, look. Saw it yesterday. There it is, the first flower on the 40. But we got lots of them fixing to start blooming here. My zinnias. I, um, I cut back. I talked to you guys about that a few videos ago. But I cut the zinnias back so that way they can branch out and give us more flowers. Now it's going to stun them. It's going to knock them back about a week from blooming. Give or take. But in the long run, that's going to be better for us. But over here, I saw some more. Here they are. Look at here. Fixing to have some more cosmos blooming here. Yes, we are. And the sunflowers are looking fantastic this morning. It's crazy how they follow the sun. The sun comes up over here. And you can see how the sunflowers are pointing that way. And as the day comes on and that sun travels across the sky, these sunflowers will turn as well. That's just amazing to me. Mother Nature's something else, ain't it? But look at the look at the buds on these sunflowers. Whoo! Oh, we can actually see some petals in that one. Look at there. Oh, this is getting exciting. See the yellow in that sunflower right there? So my plan is to let Moody in this area and let him start eating this cover crop we planted which is, we got some rye grass, we got his radishes still here, we got clover in here, we got vetch in here. You see the vetch right there, that purple vetch. Anyways, this is a great cover crop that's conditioning our soil. And what I'm thinking too is, is this needs to be cut and I thought we could just cut it and let it just dive back down into the soil. Or I can let Moo Man come over here and let him eat this and let him fertilize it with his special fertilizer and fertilize the soil. And he will really enjoy eating this. And the goats too. So we got a gate right there. As most of y'all know, that was our only access to this flower farm area or garden area before we built or put in our new gate over yonder. My plan is, is to take some Premier One fencing, which we have some that are four cows and i'll put a link to all this down below and you guys can check them out but um premier one actually reached out to us at the Oki homestead conference and talked to them over there and they wanted to help us out here on the farm so i told them what i was wanting to do i was wanting to be able to move moody around in some places i got some stuff that needs to be that he could just absolutely love and i can just do like a rotation with him and keep our pastures and garden areas healthy and they said they had just the thing for us and we got they sent me some premier wood fencing called electrostop and they said it's perfect for cattle and for uh, goats and sheep so we're going to put that premier wood fencing out and let moody have edit in here now it will be charged and that's how we'll keep them in here and that's how we're going to keep them out of the flower farm and the greenhouse uh, so we should have plenty enough to do what I want to do uh, I want to try to do all this area all out through here and just let him have I don't know how long it take him to eat this down probably a good little while is my guess but I'm no I'm no cattle person but I'm guessing it's gonna take a good little while for him to eat this down now we do have some geese over here sitting on some eggs or a goose sitting on some eggs over here and that's why we got the fencing over here this is some fencing we bought from them in the past and we're gonna make that a little bit smaller and just let moody and the boys have it out here hopefully it works she got babies don't know let's see cantaloupe there's cantaloupe and his wife now he will get you he will get you they mean busy. No babies yet? 
two eggs, three okay. eggs, three eggs. And Michael and I candled them. Yeah. And we could, I mean, we could tell that there was once a baby in there. Yeah. However, we can't tell if it's alive or not. Right. Because it's that far along. Gotcha. And we hate to take them not yeah. knowing. So I say we just leave this like this and let them go a little bit longer. Okay. That'll work. If worse comes to worse, we might have to pick them up a gosling at so, the feed store. Um, geese have such motherly instinct that yeah. that usually works. Yeah. However, with a chick, you may not have such good luck. Right. But, they want to be parents so bad, it's just... Yeah, crazy. they've been out here. Cantaloupe's been beside her for well, almost a month now. Slip a little baby under. And... Slip a little baby under. We're not going to make a hasty decision right. about that, but right. we'll give it just a little bit longer. Right. All right. He's, he's an awesome daddy. He is an awesome daddy. His name and husband. Been, his name should have been Jason. Oh, my gracious, girl. My only... Dad, it's cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. <laughs> My only concern with Moo Man coming over here is this wire here, yeah. which we got it cut off right now. Um, we may have to take it down yeah. and then let them come over. I think so. I think that's probably going to be because, you know, we used to have American guinea hogs. And once they learn that wire, even with the wire down, that's and the right. wire wasn't even there. It's just instinct to learn They, they would not you're... cross over. They eventually would. So, what? All right, Moody, we may have you a huge, gigantic salad bar here just directly in the few he said the grass is i know he's coming over side. here they've, they've eaten this grass down but it looks good this this pasture looks good it does. all right we got the fencing loaded up mama's got a tractor and we fix him to start operation move moo man So we got the fencing up. We got one little slight dilemma. And that is the fencing is we got a good bit left over. And we want to come on around with it all the way down through here. But if we do that, we're going to cover our gate up. So hopefully we can get these guys in here and they're going to be so happy that they got this grass that they don't pay us no attention. Here comes Joe. So that's our that's our uh hey, goal. So we're fixing to open the gate up. Here's the moment of truth. Hopefully it works out because we don't have any electricity on the fence right now. Come on, Jojo. Joe, you gotta come further than that. Well, you started at the beginning. Come on, Moo Man. Hey, Moody. Yeah. Moody's like, what in the world? Look at that mouth full of hay. Joe. Let's find you come. Come on, guys. Come on, Topper Topper. Come on. He Here comes Moody. Come on, Top. Come on, Moody. Come look at this salad bar. Come on around this way. Moo Man. The wire. It's on the ground. Moo Man. Come on. The friends are over here. They loving it too. Come on, Moo Man. Let me get some grass. He'll come for that. I got some in my hand. Hey, Moo Moo. Hey, Moo Moo. Come on. Look at here, Moo Man. Oh, my gracious. Come on in, buddy. No, sir. I'm out right here. I'm just gonna start here. That's right, you gotta start at the beginning. <laughs> Can't start at the center. Oh, yes. Listen to it. Crunch, crunch, crunch. What do y'all think, fellas? Well, I must say, the flies are back on Moody. Uh oh. Um, so, I don't know if the wasps are actually working or not. How long do they say before you re retreat? It the just depends on your area. 
they say a few weeks up to several months. Yeah, so. I don't think we're going to have any trouble in here with them running the no, fire because they're going to be occupied. They're going to be occupied. There's so much for them to eat out here. Where <laughs> He just about made it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Gotta get Big Joe over here now. Yeah, he's looking at him like, you coming, Joe? Come on, Joe. So we can shut the gate. Get y'all's waters and stuff over here. <laughs> Might be the best day ever, ain't it, buddy? Huh? Oh, my gracious. It's the stuff. Yay! Y'all are in. I reckon how long it's going to take them to do a number on this grass. Booty's going to eat a lot, but it's going to take him a little while, I think. And I think by the time he eats this up, that this pasture over here will be ready for him. That's what I'm hoping. And my next thing is, is put a gate over yonder and do the same thing on that backside. I was fixing to say, now that we know that it works, yeah. we can move them anywhere we move want Move them to. anywhere we want to. All right, let me get this up here and we can start putting this fence on. All right, so we pretty much got everything done. We got the porta hut moved over. Got the water, got the salt block, but we did make the fence hot because Joe started knocking it over and wanted to get on the greenhouse pretty quick. So it was a mad dash and uh, that's why I'm out of breath. But I do have the fence hot now and Joe's out there in the pasture area now. So, but- I think Moody realizes that he's not supposed to touch it. Yeah, Moody I mean, is a, he's a smart man. Plus, Moody is excited about all this grass. Gr goats are not known to be grazers, but they're enjoying it. They are. He was more so interested in that cardboard box. Yeah, that the and the plastic. One fit thing came he in. was, and all the plastic. So, just being goats. Hopefully, this will deter them. And we went with the Premier One fencing because I was just going to put electric wire up, maybe like five strands. And then my buddy Daniel at uh, Arm Family, he told me that he's never been able to successfully keep goats with electric wire strands because a goat would jump through it. He said a cow's no problem, but goats would be his concern. So when I reached out to Premier One, they said they could fix me up. And we love Premier One. We used to use it when we had meat chickens. Well, you can see we already had it around the, the goose surrounding. Yep. And, um... I mean, we've used it we've numerous times. Numerous it's so easy. times. Y'all look. The one and only Scott is putting on a show. Scott, you got a feather this. Now he went back into place. Guess the wind was blowing it. Go, what you think about Scott? Ain't he pretty? He is a pretty man. Sure he is. We got uh, Moody and the boys moved today over there in the flower garden area, our garden area. Eating all that beautiful grass up and then fertilizing at the same time. And we don't have to worry about buying hay for a while now. Yep. And then hopefully by the time that grass is greener, I mean, hopefully by the time they eat all that grass up, their old pasture will be uh will be back green again that's my plan and you know with this netting system we can put moody and the boys or moody and mildred just about anywhere i had intentions on trying to plant some zinnias today but that didn't work out i just ran out of time i ran out of time yeah that's all right, we'll get them in the morning. Can you hold a shovel? You might can hold a shovel. 
I get you one of them tool belts that holds shovels and clippers and stuff. I get you to help me with them zinnias and cosmos we gotta get planted. Yep. Gonna start some more sunflowers probably tomorrow too. Yeah. Nice talking to you. A little afternoon chat. Yeah. Nice afternoon chat with my emu buddy, Nugga. <laughs> oh, buddy. Mm -mm. You such a sweetie. You such a sweetie. Yeah. All right, they're the boys. They loving life. Moody's laying down. He just laid down. He's loving life. Y'all see him lay down? <laughs> and here's the thing. They are not even... It is an hour past the time I would normally feed them. And they're not even... Moody is not making a noise. These guys aren't making a noise. So this pasture is... Looks like it may keep them satisfied. I was expecting them to still want to eat in the evening time. I usually feed them around 3.30 and it is 20 to five. How about that? Good deal.